Hey guys, James and Steve here coming from Hawaii. We just finished the World Championship race. Yeah. Mr. Haley took first place. I took second place. Okay, and the Theory last. W, the ain't first or last, yeah, whatever. <laughs> the Theory W was the plane that we flew. We wanted to show you guys how what we did to modify it to be at a world competition level. Um, out of the box, it's an amazing wing. Yeah. But if you want a little extra speed to keep up with the big boys, we had to amp them up a tad bit. So James, let's jump into what we did here. Um, I'll talk about some of the aero, and then you can talk about some of the power. Um, yeah. Jump into the power stuff. What do we do? So first thing we did was go to a bigger motor. Um, thanks to Scorpion, we're running a 2221, uh, 2480 kV motor. It's a helicopter motor. Um, so the shaft normally comes out the opposite side. So we actually took some low C shock shafts and made longer shafts to come out the back side. Uh, it's running an APC 475 by 475 which puts us at about 42 to 40 amps. Uh, so that runs really good. Uh, a little bit of warmth into it, so you know you're cooking. Um, the only thing then, if you do that, now you gotta go to a bigger ESC. We're running an Ice 50 light. Um, had to hog out a little bit of the foam there, uh, but fits really well in there. Push the ESC, the receiver forward. Uh, we're running dual uh, leads here, and that's because we're running, actually we had to cut it a little wider, run two 4S1000s in parallel so they're taped together and they're sitting right down in there um, so we're running those in parallel so that's giving us about two and a half minutes of wide open um, so with the loiter system you know we have about 30 seconds of loitering and then wide open and then the packs are coming down at about 20 to 25 percent left in them so not overly warm uh, but so it's we're all right in a good setup. Yeah, we're pushing speeds in 130 mile an hour range, roughly. On the down one past here, we're probably approaching 150. Yeah, I mean, it's a windy, windy trip here, and these wings are just cruising yep. super, super fast. So, all right, so I'll jump into some of the aerodynamic stuff. Um, we pre printed these uh, servo linkage covers, so when your air comes over the wing, you really don't want this distraction of the servo linkage. So we printed up, James drew it up, but we printed up these linkage covers. Now that's going to give you really clean line over the side of the wing here. Um, and if you look on the front of the airplane, we actually 3D printed a, a nose cone or a, a camera cover, which actually prevents wind from catching in here and ballooning under the canopy, and then tape the canopy down as well. So that canopy stays there. And you'll see our video antenna is actually hidden. So that is a draggier item, and so everything's all under there. So everything hits the front of the wing and goes over the top. Now on the bottom of the wing, uh, because this wing can break apart for travel, we actually had to tape over the holes. So we taped over the holes with Blenderm, taped over the, the edges of the wing, and we taped over anything else we laid in the wing. Now, these wings were also used for long range flying, so you'll see a satellite in here, um, but they're also, it's really just a safety precaution in the race. But that, everything's taped over, so everything is super smooth on the bottom of the wing and on the front, top of the wing. We actually didn't run hatches like we had planned in the finals, um, but again, we were still able to come out with the one and two win. So. But we just want to show you guys everything about the Theory W and what we did at the Worlds to make it a little faster. Thanks for watching. Thank you.